Good day, grade teens. This is your chapter one revision, day one, worksheet one. You were supposed to read through the notes, do worksheet one, and this is your explanation of worksheet one. Um, you can also find this document in PDF format. Right, so let's start. Number 1.1, 1 .1, write the following in set builder notation. Okay, number 1.1.1, 1 .1 .1, they give us in interval notation, x is an element of negative 1 to 12, negative 1 excluded and 12 included. To write this in set builder notation, I have to remember that set builder notation uses curly brackets. So it's going to be curly bracket x, so curly bracket in math language means the set of all x's such that x is between negative 1 and 12, negative 1 excluded and 12 included. Look at that. How do I write included and excluded? I make an equal sign by the 12 because it is included and not an equal sign by the negative 1 because it's excluded. Because they gave it to us in interval notation, it means that it's real numbers. So I'm going to write semicolon x is an element of real numbers. Number 1.1.2. 1 .1 they give us a number line that looks something like this. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. Negative 3 is as an open dot, which means it's excluded, and then an arrow to the left. This means that x lies to the left of negative 3, which means it's everything smaller than negative 3. To write it in set builder notation, I'm going to write a curly bracket, which means the set of all x's such that x is smaller than negative 3. And x is an element of real numbers. How do I know x is an element of real numbers? Well, they use a line. Because they're using a line, I know that that's a real numbers. When they use dots, it can be either whole numbers or maybe integers. Right then, number 1.2, represent the following on a number line. They give us, in set builder notation, the set of all x's such that x is between negative 2 and 3. Negative 2 excluded and 3 included. And x is an element of integers. Now the answer is in blue. I have a number line, I have to write all the numbers out and I have to make a dot above each number because when I have real numbers I can use a line but when I have only integers I have to make separate dots because everything in between the numbers are not included. So by negative 2 I have an open dot, negative 1 included so it's in a colored dot then 0, 1, 2, 3 are all included. Number 1.3. Determine without the use of a calculator between which two consecutive integers the square root of 51 lies. So the square root of 51, I have to find two numbers, one smaller than and one greater than 51 that have square roots. So I have to find square numbers. Square numbers smaller and greater than 51. A square number smaller than 51 is 49, that has a square root, and greater is 64. So the square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 64 is 8. So that means that the square root of 51 lies between 7 and 8. Right, number 1.4, they ask, prove that 0, 0,254 repetitive is rational. Okay, so always when I do a question like this, I start it like this. Let x be equal to 0, 0,245, 245, 245. So I write it out a few times, dot, 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 which means it goes on like that. This is number 1.4. So... Because I have three numbers repetitive, I'm going to times it by a thousand. A thousand x is then equal to two four five, two four five, two four five, two four five. Then I subtract these two equations because I want everything that's after the comma to fall away. So to get that, I'm going to subtract these two equations. So I'm going to say a thousand x minus 
x is equal to 245 because then when I subtract it, everything after the comma will subtract from one another and fall away. So I will get 999x is equal to 245. To get x alone, I divide by the 999 and I get 245 over 999. Please remember, the definition of a rational number is a number that can be written as a, as a fraction where the numerator and the denominator, the top one and the bottom one, are both integers. So to prove that something is a rational number, I have to say, because num uh, 245 is an element of integers and 999 is an element of integers, I'm going to have that the number that they gave me, 0, 0,245 repetitive, would be an element of rationals. Number 2.1 Express 0, 0,6 repetitive as a common fraction without using a calculator. So please remember we always st start these with let x but now they're not asking me to prove that it's rational. They're only asking me to write it as a common fraction. So to write it as a common fraction I'm just going to say let x be equal to 0, 0,666 and so on. Then, because only one number is repeating, I'm going to times it by 10. Then 10x would be equal to 6,66666. So, then I subtract these two equations from one another. 10x minus x is equal to 6. Everything after the comma will fall away. 10x minus x is equal to 9x, so 9x is equal to 6. x will be then equal to 6 over 9. We can simplify it to 2 over 3. It's not abs absolutely necessary, but we can. So that means that 0, 0,6 repetitive will be equal to 2 over 3. 2 thirds. Number 2.2. Between which two consecutive integers does the square root of 87 lie? So the square root of 87, again, I'm going to find two numbers that are on either sides of the um, 87 that has square roots. So square numbers on either side of 87 would be 81 and 100. The square root of 81 is 9 and the square root of... 100 is 10. So that means that the square root of 87 lies between 9 and 10. Right, number 2.3. Represent 53, 50 excluded and 3 included on a number line. Okay, so that's an interval notation. When I have interval notation, I know that they are using real numbers. When I have real numbers, I can just draw a line. So I don't need to write each number between negative 50 and 3. So I can just write negative 50 and 3. And then I make an open dot by 50 and a closed dot or colored dot by 3 and draw a line between them. The open dot is for the excluded negative 50 and the color dot is for the included 3. Then number 2.4 number 2.4 they are asking express 0, 0,16 repetitive as a common fraction without using a calculator. So for these I always start with let x be equal to 0, 0,16161616 because there are two numbers repeating, I'm going to um, times it by 100. So it's going to be 100x is equal to 16,161616. So then I subtract the two equations. 100x minus x is equal to 16. 100x minus x is 99x. To get x alone, I divide by 99. So it's 16 over 99. I did represent it as a common fraction as they asked. So it's going to be 0, 0,16 repetitive is equal to 16 over 99.
Number 2.5. Represent the following on a number line. So they give me this in set builder notation. The set of all x's so that x is smaller than negative 5. Ach, x is greater than or equal to negative 5 or smaller than 3. Or I can say x is between negative 5 and 3. Negative 5 included and 3 excluded. And x is an element of integers. Which means I'm going to have to use separate dots. So, first I see that negative 5 is included. So, I draw the number line negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Then, I draw a colored dot or a um, closed dot by negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. But 3 gets an open dot excluded because it doesn't have an equal sign and that's it for um, day one um, I'll speak to you again on day two please remember if you have any questions your teacher's email address is on the website